Good morning. It is Wednesday, October 13th, and it's going to be a good day. I am excited today because after work, I am getting my hair done. So this rusted out color that's here, we're going to refresh it. We're going to put more red in it. It's going to be so much fun for me <laughs> because I'm excited to get my hair done. So Please excuse me if I get lipstick on my teeth. I'm wearing this orange gloss and it just gets everywhere. Um, let's do my daily advent. So here is day 13. <laughs> Army of the Dead. So Army of the Dead is a movie, I think it's on Netflix, and I haven't seen it, but my friend Justine tells me that it's really good. I The only reason that I haven't been watching movies is because I have been watching podcasts. We have watched, over the last couple days, I have watched Critters, the 1980s version of The Blob, and Final Destination. <laughs> Still a good movie. This is fun. This is a movie that I need to see. And if you guys have seen it, please someone comment and tell me like what you thought of it because I'm really excited. I'm a huge zombie fan and I always have been since I was a kid. So I've always been twisted um, ever since I was about six years old. As early as I can remember, my grandmother would let me watch scary movies. My mother didn't, but I would go to my grandma's house every weekend and we would watch the scaries. So I've been watching and she didn't censor them either. Like since six years old, I've been watching Dawn of the Dead, Uncensored and The Exorcist and you name it, I have seen it as a child. I don't know what that says about my family, but <laughs> it's shaped who I am. And you know, I think horror movies are great. I think being scared is hilarious. Like when I get scared in a movie, I crack up. I think it is the funniest thing ever. So yeah, let me know what you thought if you've seen Army of the Dead. All right, so let's do my daily tarot card pull. So today's tarot card pull is coming to you from a deck that is dear to me because it is the Vanessa Tarot. <laughs> Who made this? <laughs> so this is the Vanessa Tarot and it is, let me see if it says who it's written by. No, it's a US game system, so it's not gonna tell who it's written by. Let's see if it says it in the book. Yep, Leonard Narciso. So that's who created the deck. And here are, it's very cute. Hold on, I gotta pick this card up, okay. Here is the back of it, adorable. And here are some of the cards. I'm sorry that some of them are ups upside down. It just happens in shuffling, but they're very cartoony. Maybe if I went like this, maybe some of those will be right side up. There we go. It's very cartoony, very modern and feminine. So let's see what the cards have to say today. And if I draw the fool again, I don't even know. <laughs> So let's see, what do I need to learn for today? All right, so I drew the Page of Cups. Now the Page of Cups, I have to look this up because I, I'm struggling a little bit to learn the court cards and I feel like most people struggle to learn the court cards and if you don't know what I'm talking about the court cards are the page the knight the queen and the kings and there's just a little more information that goes with them so the page of cups is about new opportunities new ideas and opportunities that are just coming at you um, running through your head it's a call for you to express your creative outlets it's calling for you to trust your intuition and let me see here uh trust your intuition and be open to the intuitive messages coming your way and it also can indicate that you'll receive an unexpected and pleasant surprise so 
with the fool and the page of cups, I feel like something in my life is about to change. And I'm not sure what that is yet, but I keep getting hints that something new is on the horizon. I keep getting this new energy, fresh energy, new start, new opportunities, new ideas. Something is going to happen. And that remains to be seen what it will be. So that was Vanessa Terrell, Page of Cups. Awesome. So I have been working on my shawlography. There's nothing more to see since last night because I have hardly made any progress. I ended up working on my spooky socks during the knit night that I had with 11 stitches membership because like I said I messed it up so I was working on my spooky socks I'll show you how far I got with those though so here's how far I've gotten on my spooky socks so I am past where I marked for the heel also look at how cute the stitch marker is from clay cannon it's a little pumpkin scarecrow and he is so cute sorry <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so I've marked for the heel and now I am on the leg. And these are toe up. So every 20 rounds here. I learned this from Natalie of Nitty Natty. Um, I have never marked 20 rows like this before with the light bulb stitch markers. Um it is really helpful. I used to just go back and count and just go back to the beginning and just count all the rows. And I don't know why I was doing that. That is so stupid. So since she showed that she did that, I was like, oh my God, that's brilliant. Um, I will share something funny with you. So you see these light bulb stitch markers? Well, you guys call them light bulb stitch markers because you're looking at them this way. I was in a yarn store in Florida, which is like, retirement county florida naples and <laughs> this elderly lady comes to me and hands me these stitch markers and says these are the penis markers you need these and i was like excuse me come again <laughs> and she said that she goes yes they're penis markers so you could call them light bulb stitch markers, but in my brain, this lady telling me that they're penis markers is like the funniest thing that I have ever heard. <laughs> I'm sorry if that offends anyone. I don't mean to be offensive. It's just some story that I, this happened to me in my life. <laughs> so there's my spooky socks. And they're living in my hohi bag that I bought to take to Rhinebeck. I was going to show these off on the podcast, but I'm not quite sure, like, what I'm going to be doing with this podcast because of Rhinebeck. So here is my hohi bag. This is her little box bag. And I love it. It has a good amount of room. Like, look at Plenty of room. The only thing I'm a little confused about is that it came with this, which is a piece of leather, um, and I, I don't know what it's for. So if you have a hohi bag or like if you guys can tell me what this is for, the only thing that I can think of is for like, I don't know, because I was thinking maybe it's to tie it on the bag or I was thinking to hold stitches. Like when you're knitting, you know, like your sleeves and stuff and you need to put your stitches on hold. That's what I would think, but I'm not, I'm not sure. So it probably has an obvious answer, but if you guys know what this is for, please let me know. So those are my spooky socks. So like I said, I have to work today. So I am going to work on my shawlography for just a little bit longer and then I'll be going into work and I will see you in a little bit. So I felt a little inspired to share something with you today because I know on this channel, I talk a lot about positivity. Positivity is a great thing and it's an easy thing when everything in your life is going the way it should. And it's easy to be happy and it's easy to be positive when you're happy. But what happens when things aren't going so well? 
and it's difficult to be positive and everything in your life is going to hell in a handbasket and you feel like you don't even know how you're going to wake up to see the next day. When you close your eyes and you don't want them to open, those are the hardest days and we all have them sometimes and for some people it's harder than others. So I want to share a quote for you, with you from Maya Angelou. Having courage does not mean that we are unafraid. Having courage and showing courage means we face our fears. We are able to say, I have fallen, but I will get up. If all you managed to do today was wake up, you are brave. If all you managed to do today was drink a glass of water and lay down on the couch, you are brave. Please don't ever think that you are not enough and that you can't make it because you can, you are strong. You reach out. There are people that love you even when you feel that there is no one. Reach out because someone will listen. I will listen. <laughs> I will be your friends. If you have no one else, reach out to me. I want everyone to have an amazing day. Be courageous, be brave, and I love you. Have a good day. So change of plans. I did not get my hair done as expected. We had a busy day at the salon and then something came up and we had to go. So I will be going to get my hair done in the morning. So nothing changed here. Not yet. Um, I did go to knit night. Tonight was my knit night at my local yarn shop. There is a bunch of people there. I didn't want to put anyone on camera so without permission. So I just didn't record there. I got some work done on my shawlography, <clears throat> excuse me, which I will show you in a minute. But I wanted to thank everyone who suggested the Chayu shorty set to me. Yes, that's what it is, the Chayu shorty set to me because I was able to pick it up. And this is the Twist Shorties, two inch and three inches, the small. Um, just looking at it, I actually haven't even looked at it or opened it yet, so. Let's do that now. So, so far we have this little pouch. Super cute. It's got a little pocket. <laughs> this is like Christmas. Okay. Okay, what is this? Oh my goodness. This is so cute. <laughs> They're the cutest little needle tips I've ever seen. <laughs> so this starts at a size four and goes up to a size eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it has two inch and three inch tips. Okay, I see where this is going. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then also it has cables, needle gauge, notions, And that's it. So I'm really excited to never magic loop my sleeves again. <laughs> that's why I bought these is to magic loop my sweater sleeves because I am in love now with the 12 inch cirques and the chow goo specifically 12 inch cirques because I already discussed the Addy ones. And instead of going and buying fixed circulars in every size, I went and I got the interchangeable set like you guys suggested. Thank you so much for suggesting that. I listened. So, yay! So, I like I said, I've been working on my shawlography. And I'm about to show you how far I've gotten and talk about that. So, if you do not want to see spoilers for shawlography clue one... This will be the end of the video. I have nothing more to talk about and there won't be any videos after this. So good night. I will see you tomorrow. And if you're choosing to stay, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Here I am.
pull this apart there you go so you can see my pink in there now when i was at knit night i wasn't paying attention and i picked up the wrong strand of yarn and started knitting with it so the problem with that when i ripped back i did go row by row i tinked back row by row it was only like three rows and it was short rows so it wasn't that long the problem is he tells you in the pattern to knit to marker but he doesn't tell you how many stitches that is. He just says knit to marker. So you have to have your marker placed correctly. I don't know if I placed the marker correctly when I went backwards. I did my best to read the knitting and go back a line and try to read the stitches and see where the marker should go. But I'll only know in the next few rows when I finish the section and he gives you a stitch count whether or not I put it in the right place. So we'll see. And if I didn't, then I'll just rip back this section and start over. Well, I guess I would have to tink back the section. I don't think I'll be ripping it back. <laughs> I don't want to lose stitches. But yeah, so I don't know how this is supposed to go. Like, I'm not sure if it goes this way or if it's going to go this way. I have not looked I have not seen any spoilers so I have no idea what I'm knitting and I love it it's so much fun so I am like I said getting my hair done tomorrow and then I will be packing to go to Rhinebeck and I do want to say that I have mentioned before that I have anxiety and when I get anxious my mind goes blank. So if you see me and I don't recognize or remember you, please don't take offense. It is probably just because I'm anxious and I can't think at the moment. So if you see me, please say hi. I think we have to have masks on. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to guess that we have to have masks. So it's going to be even harder to identify people. Just say hi to me. I will love it. I will love anyone saying hello to me and meeting everyone. And I'm really sorry if I don't remember you right off the bat if we've met before. I apologize for that. Um, I just don't want to upset anyone in that way. But it's going to be so much fun. So I cannot wait to see everyone there. I will see you all tomorrow. I want everyone to have a good night. Sleep well. Sweet dreams. And we'll catch you tomorrow. Bye.